you or many fans know you as a sociologist. Some folks know you as a folklorist. But I did not ever think of you prior to this little chat as a creator of theatrical events. When Heroes Take Their Stands is your new show touring the country. What is When Heroes Take Their Stands? In every heroic tale, in every epic story, we come upon a moment where a hero stands and says, I put my lance in the ground and I stand here, come hell or high water. And at that moment, I've always thought that something really moves inside us. A moment that cannot be expressed in words. And this is the moment of awe and pity, as Aristotle once put it. What do we do at that point? And uh, I always thought, well, maybe we should just be silent. But then I thought we can do something else. We can stop the words and fly above that moment on the wings of music, on the wings of art. I went to an old friend of mine who is a member of the Silk Road Ensemble, Kehan Kalhor, a compatriot of mine, and I broached a subject with him, and I picked five heroes from Greece, Iran, India, China, and the United States, and I said, how about making music based on a moment in the lives of these heroes and heroines when that moment arrives and uh, we could have five composers compose music about those heroes. And I also propose that along with every music there would be another companion piece, either dance or animation or film or shadow play or something like that that would help express our awe and pity and our appreciation of that heroic moment. Silk Road Ensemble accepted this and, and raised funds for it and uh, we have now uh, this whole concert slash theater that has never existed before uh, based on the lives of five heroes that is going to debut in uh, Santa Barbara on April 26th. And then it's going to move uh, in short order to Los Angeles, to Northridge and then Irvine areas, and then Berkeley at the university. And then we are going to come end it on May 5th in Washington DC, the Kennedy Center for Performing Arts. Let me uh, give you a couple of examples. The Iranian piece, Siavosh, based on this hero, uh, and the Indian piece, Arjuna, based on this hero of Bhagavad Gita. They made exactly the opposite choices in the moment when they take their stand. Siavosh is a prince and he's sent to war by his father, by his crowned father, uh, who is cantankerous and unreliable and mostly uh, quick to anger and in many cases unethical. Siavosh, on the other hand, is a man of principles and he makes an agreement with the enemy that he has defeated to receive reparations and to guarantee good behavior of the enemy to receive uh, hostages. His father rejects this deal that is made. He orders his son to execute a hundred of these innocent hostages. Although they haven't done anything wrong and their king has been honorable, the Iranian king says, no, this was a bad deal and kill everybody. And Siavosh has either to reject his father's command, also his king's command, or commit an atrocity go back on his word and execute a hundred innocent people. So what do you do? Uh, this is not a choice between good and bad. This is a choice between two different kinds of good. Obligation to your nation? Do you stay with your obligation to your father? Or do you stick with what humanity uh, commands you to do? And in this case, Siavosh 
decides to go with the universal command of being just. And he spurs his father, he goes into exile, and he ends up with a tragic fate. Arjuna does exactly the opposite. Arjuna is standing uh, on the battle field, and as a warrior, it is his dharma, it is his caste duty to wage war. He's a warrior, and uh, he should fight. But he looks at the enemy lines, and he sees there are many of his relatives there. He sees many of his teachers and benefactors standing on the opposite. And he has a moment of doubt, and he says, how can I kill these people who are my kin? And, uh, you know, my caste duty is in opposition to uh, my duty as a human being. Which one do I choose? And here is when God, uh, one of, in one of his incarnations, as Krishna comes down and advises him to go ahead and perform his caste duty, which is wage war. And not to worry about killing, because this world is an illusion anyway. And God is everybody. God is Arjuna, and God is, is his enemy. As long as he performs his duty without attachment to the things of this world, he will be saved. Now, here is the two heroes picking the opposite choices. And there is really no right or wrong choice. There is only a cowardly choice as opposed to a heroic choice. And at that moment, uh, it is dance, it is music, it is animation that can convey the awesomeness of that choice. Rather than words, even the way we talk about this, it, we are missing something. So I'm not recording. Um, the audience to know the stories. Of course, some people would want to go and study all of the stories, and some would choose to kind of encounter this moment without much verbal background. It's up to the audience, but it's my point to bring people uh, together in contemplating the, the heroic choice. As you say, many of us are not familiar with the Iranian heroes or even Electra. But Martin Luther King is a common uh, uh, trope, meme in American culture. What from his life, what moment did you choose to highlight as a heroic moment when he took a stand? To me, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, took his heroic stand when he knew that he was going to die. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life, longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. But then he can't run and hide just because he's going to be killed. In a way, that heroic choice is more obvious than the dilemma that Siobhan or Arjuna or Electra are, in, uh, are entangled with, the choice between two different kinds of values. Here is a choice between life and death. And we all cherish life. But there are things that are more exalted than just living. And here, in this case, for Martin Luther King, is the duty to lead the civil rights movement. And that is a moment when we basically have to stand in awe of, of this choice. And that is the moment that Jason Moran is going to express in his musical composition. When Heroes Take Their Stands, created by our beloved sibling, Ahmad Sadr. You can't wait to see the show. Can't wait to see you beaming as your child is performed on stage. It will be a thrill. Yes. <laughs> All right, brother.